Well, you alright? This is um, question four of the uh, January 2011 paper. Uh, obviously, I don't need to go over the EQA bit again. But basically, this is the big one. It's the uh, six marker. Oh, well, when I say big one, what I mean is the uh, writing one. We have to write a bit. Now, um, many people, when they see this six marker, they think, oh, I've got to write like eight pages because it's given me. It gives you loads of space. I mean, obviously, this is a whiteboard, so you get a bit. But um, it gives you loads of lines. And you think, I've got to fill all that, otherwise, it looks like I've not done enough. And, um, sorry, what can happen sometimes is uh, I've done this myself. I've just waffled on um, and found myself actually repeating some of the points I'd already made earlier. So, what I'd advise, um, what my teacher advised, that you put it in bullet points. Uh, because when you say the written quality of communication will be assessed, all they're checking is if it's logical in the point after point after point, not necessarily in full sort of you know um, ordered sentences as uh, follows like a paragraph sort of format. You can just put it in bullet points, and if you put it in bullet points, uh, it's a lot easier to understand where you've gone wrong, where you've gone right, what you've missed out, if you've repeated, if you've got all the marks. Now you've got to remember. It's about two marks, uh, depending on uh, what year it is. It's generally about two marks for the uh, written quality communication, which basically just means if it's logical and if it's spelled correctly. And uh, obviously, I never fall on that. But um, so it says for question four, explain how a stationary wave is formed, um, and then describe the key features of the stationary wave. So this is quite a nice one, really, because it's already told you what to write in the in the question there. Um, now I've drawn this sort of uh, emulated diagram here. This line, this straight line that you can't see any dots on, um, is the uh, string. These sort of curves, um, they follow each other. So this one that I'm doing in red here is just following the one in blue uh, going up and down. And that's a different one to the other one uh, going up and down. I'm doing a different colour actually. I rub out the blue, blue one. Oh, damn it. Right now, I've not done this very well. Never mind. Or, or you can just look on your exam paper if you've got it open. So this red one here is a different one to the blue one that's going up and down. They are two different transverse waves. And now we know they're transverse uh, because they have to be progressive waves, which are waves that transfer energy uh, from one place to the other to form a stationary wave. And it says, how is a stationary wave formed? Well, it's when two progressive waves with the same phase difference and the same amplitude. Uh, so, we'll put um, stationary wave. is formed when um, a pro when two progressive waves with same phase difference and amplitude Amplitude uh, superimpose um, pose a uh, to form um, nodes and anti nodes. Uh, sorry, same PD and amplitude. Where I put same PD and amplitude, I should put uh, travelling in opposite directions. So I'll just put travelling in opposite directions. Obviously, I'm not going to get my mark here because I'm messing it up with directions. But you just put it in one sentence. Uh, so that's sort of one mark we've got for the... Well, we could have a two there, uh, actually. For explaining how the stationary wave is formed, for talking about progressive waves with the same PD and amplitude travelling in opposite directions, that's about uh, two marks. So we need we need a couple of more points here. And it says um, so that's the first part. Then it says describe the key elements of um, the stationary wave. We've sort of mentioned it here to form nodes and anti nodes. And you have um, anti nodes. So wait, 
actually probably best to talk about nodes first. So nodes um, are formed when uh, the waves, when, when progressive waves um, are 180 degrees out of phase. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, um, there you can uh, visit one of the other tutorials uh, about uh, waves. I forgot what, what I called it now, but there'll be in a wave section, a unit 2 uh, A human physics playlist, and that will be one in there to do with waves. So, when nodes are formed, when progressive waves uh, with, uh, uh, sorry, that are 180 degrees out of phase, that are uh, 180 degrees out of phase, uh, superimposed to form a stationary point on the wave. So, when progressive waves are 180 degrees out of phase, uh, superimpose, impose, on the string, because that is a string basically, on the string, and then um, the antinodes are going to be the opposite, so I'll just put antinodes, and I'm just going to label it as opposite, but obviously what you'd do uh, when you're writing the answer to the question, you wouldn't put opposite, and you just write this sentence out, except you do it the opposite way round, and instead of them being out of phase, they are in phase with the same amplitude and the same a phase difference and they superimpose um, to create a super uh, super trough or super uh, super crest form a super trough or super crest I'm just going to put super trough as it, it, it looks a bit better super trough, they're the main uh, parts of the wave so we've got two marks there uh, three, four, you get two marks for uh, expert at the writing it correctly, which I sort of haven't done there, but um, I'd say that you don't need to put any more than that, I don't think. Yeah, that's sort of the main parts of it. Um, so obviously, you, you would um, also, just a few things uh, missed out, you would say uh, the wavelength, because it's got all this, actually, yeah, that's one part, because I, di I didn't, uh, I just went off what I'd been drawing. Now it says 1.2 metres. Now the lambda is not 1.2 metres, it's uh, one point to another point. So that is half a wavelength, that is a whole wavelength, uh, 1.2 metres equal. Sorry, I sort of camera decided to die. So what I was saying in there, in uh, sort of the end of that bit, um, I was saying the lambda equals 1. Uh, 1, yeah, 1.2 metres equals 1.5 times lambda. So you'd work it out, you'd substitute it in, and divide it, etc. Um, I think you could do that without me needing to do that for you. Uh, so you get lambda is 0 0.8 metres. And you just say another thing. So this is your other point. Uh, you'd say how many nodes there are. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 uh, nodes and 3 a and which is three antinodes, and that's your main bit. So you explain how the stationary wave is formed. You say what nodes are. You say what antinodes are. You say how many nodes antinodes there are, and you state the wavelength. That's your and the question. I really didn't need to uh, go on more than that. There's not much more to say for uh, question four. So that's the end of question four. Hopefully you've um, got that, and we'll see you in the next question.